don't know which one to get. Which one do you think your friend will like? Well, I don't know. He enjoys both of these comic characters about the same. Why not buy both? Since you know me better than that, I'm glad to buy one for a gift, but two is not good use of my money. If Susie was here, she would use her credit card and buy both of them. If Susie was here, she'd buy the whole store. <laughs> That's true. I wish she wouldn't use a credit card so much. It's a bad example on Barry and some of the kids here in Cashville. They don't understand that she already has the money to buy all of these things. Maybe we should sit down with Barry and Susie and talk about credit. Yeah, he always wants to buy things that he doesn't have the money for. Well, I guess this is the one. I'm sure your friend will enjoy it. I don't see why my using a credit card is such a problem. Everything gets paid from the money in my bank account. It isn't that you are a problem. But Barry is so easily influenced by other people. Yeah, look at how Fred Broke is always getting Barry to try to buy a new skateboard. That's the last thing Barry needs to spend his money on. So, what we need to do is explain to Barry why credit is such an issue. Okay, but I still plan on using my card. I will just try not to use it when Barry is around. There's Barry now. Hey Barry, we're up here. Hi, Penny. Hi, Sense. You forgot about me, Barry. Sorry, Susie. I didn't see you there. Thanks for joining us, Barry. Yeah, we're glad you wanted to hear what we have to say. So, am I in trouble or something? Not at all. In fact, we want to help you stay out of trouble. Unless you decide to do something wild and foolish on your skateboard, that's something we can't do anything about. I promise, Susie. I'll try to make sure that you never need to worry about me and my skateboard. Whatever! I know you're always trying new tricks at the skate park. Anyway, so Barry, we wanted to help you understand something important. Something about credit. Well, excuse me. You guys are always talking about money. We can't help it, Barry. Money is such an important part of everyone's life. So understanding how to use it wisely is really important to us. And you're our friend. So we want you to be wise too. Okay, well, tell me what's important. How do we start, Sense? What is the most important thing about credit? Well, first of all, using credit costs you more money than paying cash for something. What do you mean? Anytime you use credit, you are borrowing money from someone else. And then? Why should someone just let you borrow money without getting something in return? Because they are your friend. What if your friends won't let you borrow any money? Where will you go then? I guess I can go to the bank. I don't think the bank will give you a loan now. You're too young. But let's just say that they do give you a loan. Interesting. So, what's something that you would like to buy? The latest video game, of course. Before you even get the money, the bank is going to tell you how much interest you have to pay them. What's interest? Interest is the money you have to pay the bank to borrow their money. You mean I have to pay to use the money? That's right. Every time you borrow money, you have to pay the bank money. So that skateboard that you wanted to buy now costs you more than it would have cost you if you paid cash. So when Susie uses her credit card, she's paying more for what she buys? Well, actually, the card I use takes money out of my bank account. I already have the money. The bank card just lets me buy things without having to carry a lot of cash with me. So you're not really borrowing the money then? That's right, Barry. But if you borrow money to buy something, you know you're going to have to pay more in the end. So what's the answer? How do you avoid using credit if you want to buy something that you don't have enough money for? The best way is to save your money until you have enough to pay for it. And if you have a savings account at the bank, the bank will pay your money to keep it in the bank. Why would they do that? Because they are going to lend your money to someone who is taking out a loan. And the person who borrows that money will pay interest on the loan, which is where the bank gets the money to give to you. So, borrowing money means I pay more for things, but if I save my money, I can actually get more money. And you will feel a lot better about yourself too. You will know that you did the smart thing by saving. Hey Barry, I need to go over to the bank this afternoon. Why don't you come with me? I'll help you open up a savings account. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, Susie, could you please loan me some money to deposit into my account? No!
this episode, the kids learn about the impact of interest. Interest is paid by the borrower to the lender for the amount of money borrowed. A lender is the one who is giving the money while the borrower is the one who is receiving the money. When we talk about interest, we should also know what the term principal means. Principal refers to the amount of money borrowed. Over time, the interest that you pay will add up to be a lot. When you take a loan, there are two things that will affect your borrowing. The interest rate and the duration of the loan. The higher the interest rate, the more you have to pay back. The longer the duration, the more you have to pay back. Avoid borrowing money unnecessarily. If you do borrow, pay it up fast.